Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a fun little bottom of the hoop sequence. We're going from dragonfly to gazelle and then doing a little drop down to come into a Delilah. It's three nice, simple, but pretty moves strung together in a fun way. But before we get started, I'll just remind you to please subscribe. It is a big help when you subscribe to my channel. It's also a big help when you like videos with the YouTube algorithm and helping other people find this channel. So please do take a minute to subscribe and I will be very, very grateful. All right, moving on to pro tips. My first pro tip is to walk your legs out gracefully when you're transitioning into a dragonfly. Of course, there are lots of transitions into a dragonfly, so don't be afraid to experiment with other ones. But today we're doing the classic walk your legs out to the front and make sure that you're using your legs in a graceful manner and not just wiggling around. My second pro tip is to keep the hoop on your mid back. If the hoop is too high on your shoulder blades, it's going to be much harder to get your legs up into the gazelle. So really think mid back, the bottom of the hoop. And my third pro tip is to tip your shoulders back. When you are inverting, going into your gazelle, you're going to first want to crunch using your abs. So really squish those abs to lift your legs up and then tip your shoulders back because if your shoulders stay upright, it's going to be really hard to get your legs high enough. And those were your pro tips. So now let's break it down. Start sitting in the hoop. Place one hand on the back of the hoop around I'm gonna say 10 o'clock if the hoop was a clock face, and the other hand close to your hip with a straight elbow. Next, walk your legs out slowly, wiggling your hips forward as you go to come onto your mid back with the bottom of the hoop. You can let go with one arm if you want and take a minute to show a really beautiful dragonfly position. But when you're ready, you're going to replace your hand on the hoop at about the same level as your face. The hoop should be sort of in your armpit. And now it's time for an ab workout as you crunch up using your abs, lift your legs and tip your shoulders back so that you are inverting. As you come all the way upside down, remembering to hold on strongly with both hands, you're going to slip the opposite leg from your higher hand. I have my right hand higher, so I am putting my left leg through the center of the hoop. My right leg is going to come around the back of the hoop and wrap around the side, hooking the side of the hoop and coming into my gazelle position. This is a slightly modified gazelle because you do have one leg on the front of the hoop. So you can take one hand off, but the back hand does need to stay on the hoop. From here, I'm gonna do my transition into Delilah. So I'm letting the leg that is in front of the hoop, my back leg, come slightly forward. I keep my front leg nice and bent, hooking around the side of the hoop. I'm leaving that back hand on the hoop as long as I can, but as I come around, there's gonna be a point where I need to replace it with my other hand. So I'm just switching hands behind my back. And your body will naturally rotate down to the bottom of the hoop into a Delilah position. Here's the whole thing again, so you can see how it works in real time. It's just a fun little combo. It's pretty, but not super complicated, and it's a great uh, practice for your inversions from a dragonfly or an Amazon. And one more time before I go, I'll remind you to please subscribe and like and do all those kind of good things. And with that, I will see you guys next time.